all right what is up guys it is josh back with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can sync up your very own fortnite montages in terms of the kills the transitions the build-ups all that stuff it's all going to be covered for both davinci resolve and adobe after effects well before i actually get into it though i just want to say that over 60 percent of you guys are not subscribed to my channel so make sure to drop a sub it is 100 free for you guys to do and also feel free to drop a like and a comment down below giving me some feedback on how to improve my videos and also something i heard is the sign actually tells you what you have have to do or you will have 50 years of bad luck so make sure to uh just do whatever the sign says because you know if you don't follow it you're gonna have bad luck who wants bad luck and uh yeah i just dropped a new video on my setup tour if you want to check that out that will be in the description also be sure to drop a follow on my twitter we're super close to 10k on that and i'm going to be releasing an ident template for my current ident with the diamond so be sure to stay tuned for that and drop a follow on my twitter first link in the description but i'm going to be going over how to sync about the adobe after effects and davinci resolve like i said in the intro and i hope you guys do enjoy the video all right guys so i am in a brand new davinci resolve project we're just gonna go up here into the project settings make sure everything is set to 60 fps just like this 1920 by 1080 and we're actually just going to grab a clip so just head on over to uh, wherever you have your clip saved to i'm just going to go right here and just grab i don't know some random clip right here that i've been using kind of as a sample uh, for my other stuff and we're just going to actually highlight our clip right here we're gonna click on it and then we're actually going to find the part where we get the clip so we're going to kind of trim it down on either side right here like that just like this and then what we're going to do we're just going to drag it in here and this is actually the portion we're going to use and then we're actually going to find a random song so for me i'm actually going to uh, download a song and i'll see you guys once i've done that. all right guys so i have downloaded my song now and i quickly want you guys to pause the video and take a guess in the comments what song i'm going to be using for this video and uh, if you guys have watched a lot of tutorials on my channel you probably already have a pretty good idea so yeah let me know down below in the comments what thing what song you think i'm going to be using and uh, we'll see if you guys are right so yes guys we're going to be using stone cold uh i've used it so many times in my actual uh samples or whatever but uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting let's go uh, so pretty much the first thing we want to do is just we're going to find our main beat of the song. And this is the whole point. You want to look for these increases where it just goes from a subtle bar to a beat. And you can also just double check. So I'm going to add a marker right here on this beat. You can also just double check real quick. I'm just going to turn it down. Like we can see that that's the beat we want to hit it. So we're just going to line it up on the marker that we get our kill just like that. And that's pretty much our kill synced up. And we'll just trim off the excess just right there. Actually, maybe just drag it a bit because we're going to be doing transitions, but just like that. But just like that, perfectly synced up. Uh, and then we're just going to right click on it, unlink the clips, go to read time controls, add a speed point on the kill. Go to after we kind of edit this ramp completely, add a speed point. And since Stone Cold has a nice little build up, we're actually just going to have a slow mo before the kill, make this 200%, 50%. That way it goes 50, 250 just like this i did that wrong 50 percent, just like this then we're gonna line it up just like this line that up just like that looking super clean already but we can see that we've already synced a actual uh kill onto that and then also the main point of syncing is to also sync your transitions as much as you sync your kills i know it may sound weird but syncing your transitions definitely is a great way of executing a uh, clean sync to your montages so also just uh, find the hi-hat after the beat or the clap the hi-hat whatever it is the clap beat the, the, whatever the clap after the beat is and then we're just going to add a marker onto that and just like that we have a fully uh synced clip right here and then we'd also have our second clip right here on beat and it's pretty much just following the um just the same pattern this and then you can see the claps right here so we transition on this point after and then you just keep on repeating it and so on and so on uh, but yeah that's pretty much how you sync up that also for this song since there is a uh, a nice little build up you just add a build up preset right where it says leave me alone or whatever it says and i know you guys are going to comment down below saying i have a great singing voice and i genuinely appreciate that guys uh but yeah just right here we're going to start the build up but yeah you just gotta try to sync up the build ups and the impacts and all that with beats 
but that's pretty much how to uh, just the basics of syncing. It's it's nothing insanely crazy. Uh, you know, we, we got the we got the kill on beat, we got the transition point afterwards, we got the build up, and that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of that. Uh, if you are using kind of zoom in and out transitions, it doesn't really matter that much, but kind of the slide transitions or like the dissolve transitions kind of work better on hi hats. But uh, yeah, let me know down below what you guys thought of that in the comments. I know this is a short little portion of how you're showing you how to sync. But uh, yeah, just try to identify these uh, points in the song where it's actually, you know, hit hitting these individual beats. But that's pretty much going to be that. Uh, let me know what you want to see in a future tutorial on the channel. And I'm going to be moving on to the After Effects portion. So I'll see you guys in there. All right, so I'm in a brand new After Effects project, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. Uh, pretty much what we're going to do, I'm just going to import my song. I was just uh, saying in the DaVinci Resolve part, if you guys weren't there for that, uh, I was talking about how I use Stone Cold and all my stuff. And uh, yeah, it's an absolute banger, bro. You, gotta, you just got to sometimes sit back and vibe to Stone Cold. But what we're going to do, just drag in your song. And press L on your keyboard twice. This is going to allow us to see the waveforms. And we're just going to find the main beat on our song real quick. Alright, so we can see that there's these peaks right here. And these peaks where it goes down, up a bit, right about here. We can see that this is a beat, this is a beat, this is a beat. I can just tell because that's what the, the waveform looks like, right? And we can tell that that is going to be a beat. So we're actually just going to add a marker to that point because we know this is going to be our kill. And we're just going to, you know, trim it down just a bit leading up to it and drag it in just like that. And then we'll just cut it off a bit on the side like that. And we're actually just going to click on our, or on our clip right here. We're going to find the portion we're going to use for it. So just by pressing this and this, just like that. And we're just going to drag in our clip just like this. Perfect. And we're just going to drag out these clip just like that. And that should be good. And now we just pretty much have a synced up clip already. Uh, I've pretty much done my job, showed you how to sync. I, it's not a super complicated thing. That's why this tutorial is not going to be insanely long. But yeah, all we got to do after that is just add our velocity. So we're just going to apply our animation preset that I will have in the description, by the way, if you guys want to download that. If you guys want to download any sort of impact presets, you can actually uh, just uh, pick that up through my edit pack. I'll have that in the description as well. We just dropped that. So you can just add this velocity right here. I also have a really good velocity uh, in my uh, edit pack if you want to pick that up. But yeah, we've just added velocity. That's it perfectly synced. And now what we're going to do, we're going to press L on our keyboard twice. We can see this peak right here in the audio is going to be our clap or our hi-hat after the beat. And this is where we want to sync up our transitions to. Uh, so that should be good right there. We're just going to trim it down so it's in line with that. So just like this. I'll actually just uh, maybe drag out the song just a tiny bit. But yeah, you can tell that if we did have a second clip, it would look a lot better with that portion right there. Just because it would transition on that hi-hat. You always want to make sure you're syncing your transitions almost as much as you are syncing your kills. I know that sounds weird, but it is true. And then we're also going to actually sync up our buildup. So... And we can see that leave me alone right here. Boom. We're going to cut that down right there. This is where our buildup is going to start just because we can tell there's a long kind of dragged out portion right there. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can actually do that. Uh, I know, like I said, not an insanely long tutorial. It was like two to three minutes of me actually showing you how to do this. But make sure you are syncing up your kills, your transitions, and your buildups. I know it might seem like a lot of work at first, but you will get used to it. You'll you'll get used to the workflow easily. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial. I'm going to have more tutorials coming out this week on uh, advanced effects, how to edit like me, my new style, how to add buildups like me, all that stuff. Uh, but if you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Give me some comments down below on what you want to see in the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.